What's up guys, welcome to the series about design patterns and how to implement them on AWS using only serverless services. I mentioned previously how a properly architected event-driven application opens the door for more optimizations. And our next pattern is one of those optimizations. Odds are the most popular page on your website. The landing page is your website killer. It's the one that's supposed to give your users, you know, all the information they need in a glimpse. They get to see the upcoming events. They get to see the notifications they received, messages, replies, views, votes, whatever your website provides. You want to give them just a little bit of, you know, a glimpse of it in that landing page. And the issue is usually it requires you to do six lift joins and four right joins here and, and five different calls to five different APIs and, and hitting disk here to get something and then hitting the cache, the, the cache cluster, you know, until it chokes. It's a mess. <laughs> so what if you had the opportunity to eliminate all these joins, uh, eliminate all these different calls and replace them with one query that returns all the information that you need in one call. But engineering being all about compromise, you have to sacrifice something. And in this case, all we have to sacrifice is strict consistency, which is not a big deal uh, uh, anyways, as we've established already. So this is the uh, serverless architecture we built in the previous pattern. And I'm just going to simplify it, going to remove some components, making room for others. And I'll add more domains uh, for a more realistic approach, a social feed domain and a store domain that handles new items in the store or whatever. And now, instead of making all these queries to build the profile page when someone lands on it or the landing page, what if we had all these domains publish their events into a scalable SQS queue? And what if we had the profile team build their own producer that reads all these events? You know, when someone posts a new comment, uh, someone likes your post, uh, someone purchases an item that you're selling on the store, uh, whatever counter that needs to be increased, right? Maybe when you gain a new follower. So the producer Lambda reads all these events and it pushes them to the profile data stream where the profile team has built multiple consumers updating one DynamoDB table with all the information for the specific user. The announcements consumer, for example, picks any event of type announcement, does some processing, you know, if required, and then updates the user document. The notifications consumer picks any event of type notifications and increments a counter somewhere in the user's documents. So you get the idea. Now, to populate the user's landing page, the front-end client get to do one call to the corresponding DynamoDB table and fetch all the information pre-calculated, pre-formatted, and ready to be displayed. So in favor of a lightning fast reading, we shifted the heavy lifting towards the right-hand side. Every time a user's item gets purchased, a user posts get liked or whatever happens, an update needs to be done on the read model, on the projection which we were doing before anyway, right? Every time something changes, we, up, we go and update it in, in the database somewhere. It's just now we do it with the intention of pushing it as close as possible to the final user, to, to really get close to the front end. And you see how we built all this using purely serverless components on AWS. We should you know, always look at these services as uh, building blocks you know, as Legos, we get to assemble them together to build our final solution. Using projections is extremely powerful for read-heavy applications when eventual consistency is manageable. Usually we can sacrifice a couple of seconds delay for all updates to be propagated through the system, but our reads become super cheap which what matters in this type of applications. And by the way, when I see, um, when I say expensive writes and cheap reads, it's mainly in terms of time, not necessarily money, right? Serverless being only 
pay for what you use uh, is a good way to ensure your TCO remains checked. That was it guys for this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new from it. If you did, don't forget to give it a like and please let me know in the comments what patterns would you like me to cover next.